Hey guys, how's it going? This is Felix, and today I'm bringing you back another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. This time, I'm bringing you some more synchro combo video ideas and stuff like that. Um, so, synchro's been one of my favorite archetypes, and um, I've just been experimenting with a lot of the cards that we have right now, the TCG and stuff like that, and just been um, struggling to come up with combos and stuff like that for um, the TCG right now, since we still don't have Chris Tron Needle Fiber. But um, these are just some of the ideas and combos that I've been trying out. Um, I decided to share it with you guys. And yeah, so you guys can tell me just what you think and give me your feedback. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and quick run over like about just one combo and then like another, some more ideas. Um, so yeah, feel free to leave any suggestions or any comments on how, can I, how I can improve these in the comment section down below. And if you found this helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe but yeah without further ado let's um let's get into it real quick here so to start this off you're gonna need four cards in your hand and then the first one's gonna be cool bolt hedgehog quick draw synchron doppel warrior and then junk synchron basically what you want to gonna do is you're gonna start off by activating quick draw synchron's effect he allows you to special summon him from your hand by discarding a card from your hand so I'll special summon him discard cool bolt hedgehog to the graveyard and then we're gonna go ahead and summon our normal, um, normal summoner Junk Synchron. And then he allows us to bring back a level two lower monster from our graveyard. And that's gonna be our Cobalt Hedgehog. And then this in turn is going to allow us to special summon our Doppel Warrior in our hand. So special summon Doppel Warrior from our hand. And now from here, we could do various routes. We have two warrior monsters and we have two machine monsters. From here, you can just link into the Clifford um, Genius Link monster. You can do um, the Noble Knight Link monster, the Warrior one, with these two. Um, you can do a level five generic synchro, right, with Junk Synchro and a Doppel. Um, you can do a level seven generic synchro, and you can even do a level seven um, Warrior synchro monster because of Quick Draw Synchro's requirements. Um, but yeah, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and synchro summon. I'm um, using five, or you're gonna use Junk Synchron and then our Doppel Warrior to be able to Synchro Summon Axel Synchron. And then this, in turn, is gonna trigger Doppel Warrior's effect. Since he was used for a Synchro Summon, we get to summon two level one tokens. First out of the field. Now, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and activate the effect of Axel Synchron, which is allowing me. Um, basically, you can send a Synchron monster from your deck to the graveyard to be able to increase or reduce his levels. Um, but in this case, it really doesn't matter if you either increase or reduce his levels. We're doing it just to be able to send Jet Synchron to the graveyard. So, activate its effect, send Jet Synchron, right? I'm gonna send it to the graveyard right there. And then now, we're just gonna simply use Axel Synchron and then Cobalt Hedgehog on our side of the field to link summon. And we're going to use it to link summon the Clifford um, Link Monster we were talking about earlier. So now that we're in this position, we're going to go ahead and activate the effect of Cobalt Hedgehog in our graveyard, since we haven't used it yet. Um, you can bring it back if you have a Tuner Monster, but then he is removed the next time he leaves the field. Now, from this point, you can go two different ways, two different routes. Um, you kind of get the same result, but I'm going to go ahead and just explain them both. Um, real quick, so just kind of save this image in your head. Um, the first way you can go is you can go ahead and just synchro summon um, level eight, right? And you can synchro summon a road warrior, right, to one of your zones. And then from here, you can activate the effect of road warrior to be able to special summon a level one monster from your deck, level two or lower warrior machine monster from your deck. Um, this can be level one tuner, right? Uh, level two tuner, something like that. Or bring out unknown synchron. Because um, he's a level one tuner, machine tuner. Um, but it could be any level one tuner. So then use that one tuner you br brought out and then that token to synchro summon one last time to synchro summon formula synchron. And this allows you to draw a card, right? And then from here, you can just synchro summon level 10 
into Stardust Warrior. So it's just a Clifford Genius and then a Stardust Warrior. Um, I think it's pretty strong. And then a Stardust Warrior, he can then negate a summon. Or if he leaves the field, you can get to special summon a Warrior Monster um, from your extra deck. So I thought that was pretty cool. The other route you can go with this combo, which is, in my opinion, a little bit more, um, more strong, is this way. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back to that board I was talking to you all about. It is, it was this scenario right here, right? We brought back Cobalt and we had two tokens. So then from here, you could do the same thing, Synchro Summon for eight, but then this time you could Synchro Summon for something like Junk Destroyer. So Junk Destroyer is just another Synchro Monster. Uh, just another warrior monster basically um, he allows you to destroy cards on the field based on the number of non tuner monsters you use to synchro summon him so you would be able to synchro summon him and since you use two non tuners you get to pop two cards on your opponent's side of the field and then from there what I do is since we sent that jet synchro into the graveyard earlier right we would be able to activate jet synchro's effect we get to discard a card from our hand. Now, yeah, now this is a this is a five card combo, which is which is what I'm saying. It's not that likely. It's just an idea. But bring back Jet Synchron right from there. Synchro summoning with the token and the Jet Synchron. Summon Formula Synchron. You get to draw a card, right? And then we get to uh, Synchro Summon once again. So destroy like two cards, and then bring back. Stardust Warrior again. So you end up with the same board, but um, both of them have like different um, different strategies, different amount of advantage, and then one of them is sort of like a five card combo, and the other one's four. Now these are just ideas and and thoughts like that. Um, if there's any way you guys think this would be more helpful. Um, these combo would work better. Feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. But let me just go through another quick thing before um, I leave, and just another thought to leave with you guys. Um, so yeah, right now I would say single players in the TCG are struggling um, to come up with stuff. Um, but I'd say like Junk Synchron and Doppel Warrior, so making like a Junk Doppel oriented deck. Um, has a lot of possibilities, has a lot of options. And so some of those options um, would be as follows, right? So let's just say you have Double Warrior in your graveyard, right? And you just summon Junk Synchron, right? Just having a Junk Synchron in your hand or these two on the field can give you a lot of things. So special summoning the Double Warrior, Junk Synchron, you'll be able to Synchro Summon for five. That would give you Axel Synchron. And then a Doppel Warrior's effect would activate, giving you two tokens. And then you can activate Axel Synchron effect, um, pitch a level one tuner, which in most cases is going to be Dead Synchron. So it can just um, increase this level, right? Pitch Dead Synchron, he's level six right now. And then from there, you can Synchro Summon for something that's level eight. So with just one card, if I theoretically had a Doppel Warrior in the graveyard and then I summon Junk Synchron, I'd be able to get something like Psy Frame Lord Omega out on the field, right? That's a pretty strong card um, in today's meta. And then from there, you'd be able to banish him, free up that zone, bring him back next turn, right? Um, you could also go for a different level A that could be like a Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend, you know, Stardust Dragon, be able to free up that space again. But there's a lot of there's a lot of options that could be any level eight basically. Now another thing you could do with um, that same idea is instead of um, instead of just having those two, right? Let's say you have these two, um, either double warrior in hand or in the graveyard, and then you have an extra level one tuner this time. Let's just add that one into the mix, right? It doesn't have to be Jet Synchron. It could be any level one 
tuner um, in the graveyard already. So let's just say it's unknown synchron for the purpose of this explanation. You will be able to summon Junk Synchron, bring back that level 1 tuner, so we'll summon Double Warrior from our hand, and then Synchro for 5, right? Bring back Axel Synchron again. Basically the same combo. And then Axel Synchron's effect, Pitch, Jet Synchron, he's level 6. And then basically it's just like a different route. So basically what we'll be able to do is you can Synchro Summon for a level 7, a generic level 7, right? And you can bring back anything out in a level 7. Um, from here you can do like a like a Crystal Wing Dragon, like a Clear Wing Synchro Dragon type of deal with the level 7 and then the Unknown Synchron. Or you could also go, you could also go like this. Um, 8, 9, you can bring back, you can bring out something like... Let's see here. Something like Trashula, right? That's very strong. Um, but yeah, these are just some of the options and some of the ideas I want to throw you guys' way um, when it comes to synchros because the deck is strong and I'm pretty sure that tons of people are excited for Needle Fiber to come out. But the question is if you want to play it now, if you want to keep synchro alive right now and you want to play it, how do you do that? And so these are just some of the ideas and some of the combos that I thought of. Um, but yeah, I, um, I've also made a Dark Synchro deck profile and another combo video. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to those videos at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and um, have a good one.